Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today it's time for the song of Italy. If you're just here to see my reaction, check out the timestamp, there you can just skip forward. Because right now I am going to talk about my daily life as always. It is Friday for me, so it was the last day of work. And actually I'm very very happy with the things that I could achieve today. The most focus of course at work was on my program again. After the last days filled with fixing problems, I could finally fully focus on my own project again. And I was surprised how far I got with this program. I also now slowly understand more and more how the yeah, interface things are connected with the template and how the template is then used to be the shell of my own program. So I slowly grow into that. I don't think I will understand it very fast. Of course, it takes some time, also practice. And as of right now, I can really tell you my LabVIEW program just is a mess. I have so many connections and wires. It looks so chaotic. I, of course, understand it. But if I would give it to someone else, yeah, I really have to clean up some wires there and make make it a bit more simple and sleek. But it's going to be good. I have a good feeling about it. And actually one funny story at work today was regarding um, the cables that I built to power up the card that I use for the project. Because um, a colleague of mine had to use these cables and he was plugging them in to the power supply unit. <laughs> and well I never noticed but he told me like hey you have to come you definitely have to do something with the cables they were just a preliminary solution for me so that I can test to understand like what I have to do but he was basically like wiggling on the cables and the cables were soldered onto banana plugs which are then in the power supply but because the cable was kind of loose and when he was pulling the cable sparks were just shooting out of this banana plug and i was like whoa okay i didn't expect it i also was not able to recreate what he did like i tried it after that maybe i was just not crazy enough but yeah, it really scared me that the sparks were just flying like crazy. Of course, I also enjoyed some time again with colleagues, talking with them about daily things. I also got driven home by one of my best colleagues right there at work. It was nice of him. And also slowly the winter is coming to an end here in Sweden. We had around 10 degrees now, but still snow is clearly seen. But also a lot of green spots now start to appear on the fields so i really think yeah winter is over now or at least over in the next week or two so yeah we will see how now the time without any snow is going to be in sweden it is really really a long time that i have yeah basically seen sweden without any snow <laughs> so that is most of it for today but for you guys it is now time to go straight into the reaction of the Italian song. Hey guys, I'm LJ and today we will react to Angelina Mango, La Noir, the national performance from Italy for the Eurovision Song Contest 2024. I have not listened to the song, so this will be my first time. And as always, in the end, I will give my point from 1 to 10 so that we have an overall view how I would rank all the songs of this year. But now, let's go. Quanti disegni ho fatto, rimango qui e li guardo. Nessuno prende vita, questa pagina è pigra. Le bimbe incasinate con i trami, da snodare piano piano con l'età. Eppure sto una Pasqua, guarda il zero drammi. La noia, la noia. Muoio senza morire, in questi giorni usati. Vivo senza soffrire. Not bad, but I'm still not sure if I like it. Definitely gives a good feeling of like the Mediterranean area. Of course, I cannot speak Italian, but she's if she is like rapping or talking, it is so fast. I 
Okay, I like that part. I like that part without any music. That is a... Ooh. I have goosebumps. Okay, okay, Angelina Mango, Le Noia. Good song, definitely a good song. I don't think I would listen to it that often because this is not my type of music based on the points that I've given to other songs that I also think are good in a similar level. I would give this seven and a half points. As I said, this is not my favorite type of music, but she is definitely able to carry the stage. I'm still curious how they are going to do it with the orchestra because I think it's an important part of the song. Maybe they just include some of the key players on the stage with her. I don't know. The best part for me was definitely when there was no music at all. No idea how it is going to yeah, perform there. I think it is somewhere in the middle, like maybe upper like 11, 12-ish somewhere. Yeah, but nice, nice Italy. Good job. So that is my opinion on the song from Italy. Do you guys think this has a chance to win this year's Eurovision Song Contest? Or do you think it is still a good song, but not capable of winning? Or don't you even think this is good at all? Feel free to write down anything in the comments. And as it was for the last two weeks, there will be no reaction coming tomorrow. But we will continue on Tuesday for you guys with the reaction of Latvia. And with that said, it is now time to say goodbye. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Have a good one. See you tomorrow or on Tuesday. Bye bye.